So uh, let's actually check out this. Uh, uh, oops. Um, yeah, these are my DMs, bro. So, so you see my cat, right? Getting ready to pounce. He's ready for it. He's he's ready for it. He's looking for it. He's waiting to pounce. He found his prey. He's starting to approach. He's starting to approach. Trying to find the right time. And then his brother goes and fucks everything. <laughs> so much time just trying to wait for the proper opportunity to strike and look look, look at his face as as the camera pans away it's like, like why you go and do why what the fuck you go fuck that up for me bro he's like why you look at him looking at his brother like asshole <laughs> <laughs> they're so funny bro I love cats, man. They're so they're so funny. They're so wild, bro. Well, dogs are too. Also, here's the okay. So here's the rose. Oh, he looks cool, bro. All right, I see it. I see it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see what we got here. Arena support pack. I never buy that. Um, the Izuru tag team Shuhei tag team Yamamoto. Okay. Uh, the arena banner. Oh, the arena banner is looking good. Jackie. Okay, Nell. Nell's kind of dog water, unfortunately. Yami's okay. For Arena, Yami's amazing. Uh, Tsukishima's good. I mean, Okiora's good, excuse me. I wish they had Tsukishima in there. Um, Kenpachi, eh. Uh, the Byakia. You need to be running, like, three Byakias, and there has to be no one on the other team with any status ailment immunity. Uh, Grimjow. I like Grimjow. The Jackie is really good. And Spirit Society Byakia? That's a weird, that's a weird choice there. Huh. That's it. That I'm not gonna lie, like that. That's a really weird choice there. Okay, so let's check this out. Arena uh, characters with arena abilities: Rose, uh, range, normal attack, damage based unit, all attacks paralysis. I see the guard break. That's awesome. Uh, start power up item plus two. I love that in arena. Long stride, flurry plus one in arena. So that's probably gonna be a flurry plus two unit. Long stride only in arena though. Mm. <laughs> New innate skill: damage to paralyzed enemies plus twenty percent. Slow immunity, guard break, skill poise, and weakened defense. Oh, weakened defense. This is going to be good for epic raids. And soul trait, normal attack, damage 30%. There it is. Okay, cool. And what kind of character is he? So you, so you said that he was a speed soul reaper killer, right? Okay, that's cool. Uh, 792 attacks, really, really high. 368 focus on the high side. That's good. Uh, soul reaper killer, normal attack, damage 30%. Bruiser, 20%. So... Bruiser 50%, Flurry plus 2 only in Arena, Flurry plus 1 outside of Arena. Weaken Defense, Poise, Sprinter plus 1, Debilitator plus 5 seconds. Um, status is going to be Paralysis probably to all of his attacks. Uh, I don't see Enhancer here, so he's not going to be a Team Booster. Slow Immunity, Guard Break, Damage to Paralyzed Enemies. Uh, Berserker 30%, okay. I like the Weaken Defense on the Special, that means that he's not going to be completely useless. Arena Support Pack, who's going to be in the Arena Support Pack? It's not a bad ticket if you if you're trying to shit money down the toilet. Uh, that's what's up. Okay. Ooh, and we all right. There we go. We got the gameplay. Let's go. I, I'm I'm way too. I, I get so I don't know why, but I, I I get really cheeked out whenever I see these characters because like even though we still get this, even though we get the same strong strong attacks like for the last five years, bro. I don't know why. It just feels like I love seeing the animations. Oh, Rani wallpaper, very nice. I, I love Rani, bro. She's so cool. Normal attack damage, 30%. I feel like that alone is going to sell the character quite a bit, especially for speed. First rose in like five years? Yeah, man. I mean, there, there's a lot of characters that haven't had a character in a long time, too. Look at love. Like, love is the same in the same boat as uh, Rose. So I think Rose is a little more well liked, to be honest. Damage reduction, strong attack damage. What? That's weird. His arena trait is damage reduction and strong attack recharge. Wait, was it strong attack damage? Strong attack damage. That's so weird. The star power up item plus two, in my opinion, is broken in arena. I feel like it's kind of unfair. Oh, what was that? That was his third?
Why is this here? Oh, you skipped the special, bro? Second strong attack looks like it's gonna be a crawling vortex. Actually, the second strong attack looks like it's the vacuum pushback attack. I like the nad string. Standard range nad character. Oh, that's right, he's a nad character. So that's fine if his strong attacks are crap. <laughs> Such a weird way to say that, but yeah. Straight up nad. Oh, okay, cool. So I, I accidentally turned off this. Four ranged attacks. Okay, so it's pretty standard nad. Damage straight ahead. This looks like a beam. The enemy wasn't pushed down backwards, so that, that tells me that this is a melee uh, collision attack. Oh, never mind. They were pushed back. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We, we can actually check out the damage here. All right, so keep this in mind 576 for the nat for the attack and 474 so that's gonna be a range collision for a strong attack and that looks like it's gonna be it might be a 40% mag and then this second strong attack is definitely gonna be the vacuum into pushback yeah, yeah that's the vacuum pushback attack I like this attack and that looks like it's the 975 which I'm fine with too um, the fact that the la the third strong attack hits for a thousand means that it's a melee collision. That's cute. I like that. Hold on, that wraps it up for Rose. That's it. Bro, they're finally bringing more Kitos, dude. About time. I think he looks good, man. And he has weakened defense on his special, so his special isn't crap. They did Rose Justice. This is nice. This is nice. I like this. Bru a bruiser 50%, guard break, flurry, poise, and then, like, on top of that, he has access to um, uh, flurry plus two in arena. Okay. A decent kit for a nad unit. Yeah, no, it, lo it looks good. I I'm, I'm completely with it. Uh, let me see if um, they have, like, a soul dex. Ah, uh, here we go. Perfect. I want to see if uh, if I was right here. You'll be captivated by my melody. Ah, oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, first strong attack, uh, 120%. Oh, so this is the 2500 length beam. It looked like they got pushed back a bit. Why was the damage so low in comparison to the third strong attack? Hmm. Okay, so 2500 length beam, standard first strong attack. Second strong attack is going to be the gather pushback attack. The reason that it says the similarities only Shinji and Ginjo is because they have a different hit variety for the same strong attack it performs exactly the same there's just a different amount of hits i suppose is the easier way to say it and then the third strong attack is going to be a 975 aoe distant third strong attack melee collision okay so a bunch of melee collision on this character despite being a range character i'm with it to be honest um the strong attack the normal attack damage string is going to be the same as okior and abirama that's good uh, that yeah, that that's good. Okay, cool. I, he he looks like he's just gonna be a good character. Would I recommend summoning on the banner? Probably not. But uh, hey, I, I'm I'm with it. What do you guys think? You think it's good? Why checking the strong attacks for a nad unit? The reason that I check the strong attack for a nad unit is simply because it depending on the collision of his norm of his strong attacks, you could potentially proc paralysis a bit more often than normal, and he does have damage to paralyze enemies plus twenty percent. The reason that I look for the strong attacks over just straight up looking for the NAD alone is because it could determine how well the character performs just outright. Like an 18% magnification for a strong attack will help you when you're getting swarmed by enemies. The second strong attack, the vacuum into pushback attack, doesn't necessarily have the back range as some other attacks do. Like a 960 AoE melee collision will protect you from behind as well as mainly in front. So like... Uh, on top of that, the second strong attack is going to gather the enemies into the middle, which means for a ranged normal attack damage unit, that's good. So that's why I pay attention to the strong attacks as well as the normal attacks. Because depending on the strong attacks, your normal attacks might actually perform a bit better. Uh, I, I hope that makes sense. And and I, I just like seeing what they do. <laughs> like, like, I, 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 I prefer giving you a complete profile of the character and not just like half-assing it and just being like, Cool, Nad, let's go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Bruiser 50%, Flurry, Poise, Weakened Defense on the Special, that's cool. Debilitator plus five seconds, Paralysis on everything, Damage to Paralyze. He did have Paralysis on everything, I'm not tripping, right? Paralysis, Paralysis, 
browser yeah yeah okay we're good <laughs> uh slow immunity the slow immunity kind of fucks with me because i don't I, I don't see a point in this i think this is kind of stupid uh well oh oh if you're going up against a shackler unit that's annoying as fuck uh guard break damage to paralyzed enemies yeah, he, he just seems good he just seems good 